the first phone call that you got from Sebastian when he's already in Chile. Yeah. How did that conversation go? Because he pretty much sold you in 10 minutes. Oh, he didn't even have to sell me. I mean, I already worked with him and been mm -hmm. a fan of his and become really good friends with him. So the call was just basically, you know, uh, he could have said anything. Yeah. And I would have just said, and tell me when and where. And HBO? Yeah. What was what was that like? We did this this HBO Go web series called mm -hmm. um, The Boring Life of Jacqueline, and actually mm -hmm. Michael's in it too. And what what about Sebastian just made you just say yes, totally? I'll work with you again, no matter what. Well, I'd seen The Maid at Sundance a few years mm -hmm. before, and that's, that's why when I got the call about The Boring Life, I mean that movie is extraordinary, and he was there doing a Q and A, and I totally fell in love with him. We didn't meet or anything, and I certainly never thought I would have the chance to work with this mm -hmm. Chilean filmmaker, but. Mm -hmm. And then I got a call a year later from my agent saying, you speak fluent French, right? And I was like, no, I, sh I should, but I don't. Um, and they said, oh, okay, never mind. I said, but why? And they said, oh, nothing, just this little project. And I said, oh, but I was, for some reason I knew I was curious. And I was like, why? And they said, oh, some, some South American filmmaker. And I, my heart stopped and I was like, Sebastian Silver. You know, and of course they didn't even know who he was. And I was like, tell them I speak French. Tell yeah. them I speak French. So I just went to go audition and I was like, okay, so listen. I don't really speak French, but you got it. We got to figure mm -hmm. this out. Mm -hmm. And he cast me, and and we just had a ball. I mean, I just I trust his. I trust him implicitly as a as right. a filmmaker and as a human being. Right. Mm -hmm. And um and as a friend. And I think that this film, you know, it requires a lot of bravery on your part, playing a character that is is so crazy and literally walks around the desert naked. Um, but hearing you talk earlier, you're like ah, it's day in the life of Gabby Hoffman. <laughs> um, but so I'm curious, kind of, uh, what how you built this character because she's so specific and she has such specific ways that she does things and that she treats people so to you like how did you build someone like this I wish I could tell you that I had some you know theorem um, um, I I don't know uh, to be honest Sebastian and I talked a lot about her and I spent the week prior to to shooting we had this week in Santiago mm -hmm. where we all just hung out um, making her book, you know, she has that book yes. that she draws in, and so I did the drawings, and um, I was reading about 2012, and we were doing tarot, you know, Sebastian was doing tarot readings with me, and we got her outfit, and we just sort of put all the pieces together mm -hmm. in a very mm -hmm. natural way, and I made some decisions about, you know, who who she who she was, um, what she was made up of, and who she was. And I didn't want to just rely on the sort of superficial stuff. Yeah. Oh, she's sort of a hippie. Oh, she's into the esoteric. Oh, she looks crazy. She's wild. I wanted those things to be coming from a place in her that was real, you know, yeah. that she was sort of searching for something, that she mm -hmm. had these, unquest these, these, these unanswered questions um, about how she felt in the world given, mm -hmm. given her past and, and, and who she was. So I wanted them to be an expression of um, this sort of, I hate this word, but journey that she was, that yeah. she was on. Um, I know, of course, a lot of that behavior is unconscious, but she, I wanted to really like her, you know, mm -hmm. and, um, I wanted her, the complexity that, that, that she reveals over the course of the movie to be there from the start in, in some mm -hmm. way. I didn't really realize that I had done that until I was at Sundance and people would come up to me yeah. and say, oh, you know, this scene made me feel that way, or um, she reminded me of this person, and I thought, oh, yeah, that, that, those are the things well, that I... Well, you know, people say, oh, she's, she's radical, she doesn't shave, she's totally open with her body, but it seems to me uh, that she's sort of trying to liberate herself from these stigmas that come with being a woman, especially considering her past working as a dominatrix. Um, do you feel like you, as an actress, have to fight kind of those same battles that she fights? I mean, I don't, what you saw, that's me. Yeah, I, I, I didn't think about those as choices, you know, political or feminist choices right. she was mm -hmm. making, just. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so you were saying earlier, you took the drug. So uh, tell me a little bit about that experience. It was very pleasant. Mm -hmm. um, we drank, we drank, the, it was very foul tasting, and we were told we were gonna throw up, which we didn't, thank God. Um, I took it, and we, we drove out a little farther into the mm -hmm. desert. And um, it wasn't hitting me, so I said, give me another dose. I drank another <laughs> cup of more. it. Give me more. And then this just very pleasant, I don't know if you've ever taken mushrooms, you don't have to answer that question, but <laughs> a very similar experience, a very sort of pleasant, mm -hmm. um, uh, 
thing washes over you, you know, the world is just a little bit softer, colors are a little bit brighter, your senses are a little bit more in tune. I think it feels almost I what I imagine like being in the womb feels like. You sort of feel at one. Mm -hmm. You know, these And did you feel more free in front of the camera or a little bit were you a little bit you know, you were saying that, you know, a part of you could turn it off and, and talk to Sebastian and yeah. communicate. Did you feel freer or did you feel at moments a little anxiety being like No, I felt no anxiety. <laughs> I mean I felt free the, this whole the whole experience we weren't on drugs any other day but we it the whole thing was sort of just a very natural easy going mm -hmm. experience but on drugs and on drugs on, on and off the drugs yeah. being in front of the camera with this gang in this environment was mm -hmm. one of the more natural experiences yeah. I've ever had making so how did it come about that you you know are in all of these films at once did the opportunities just kind of come up and you just said yes or yeah. Is this kind of a change in your career? That yeah, I had just, right before I got um, Burma, I had literally like the month before sort of made this decision to approach my work in a new way. I had been sort of checked out for many years and I just internally thought, okay, I'm going to spend a year really being present and engaging mm -hmm. and really seeing how I feel about this because I had mm -hmm. been avoiding that question. And you know, how life works once you sort of mm -hmm. open up. Thanks guys. Well, thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you.